We are at Dr. Luella Howie Waffle House. This dates all the way back to 1889. Dr. Luella had to practice out of her home. The Waffle House comes out is number one most haunted place in all of Orange County. A shimmering force moved all the way around me and it stopped right in front of me again. The rocking chair started moving back. <gasps> Something just touched Boo Bear. It's like an ambulance. Like a doctor? Like yes. It's like something was on the roof. It sounded like someone... Attic. The attic! The attic is one of the most haunted spots in this entire house, right? Someone was up there talking. It sounded like went me. Someone just walked out of this room and down in between us. Maggie. Maggie. <gasps> Maggie. Oh, oh, Maggie. oh my god. Have you guys ever had any experiences here? So I was sitting in the center chair with my back towards the kitchen area and we were having a very small meeting so there weren't a lot of us here and suddenly I heard somebody walking upstairs very heavily footstep and I said to the lady next to me, did you hear that? Did you, <laughs> did you hear that? Well she's hard of hearing in that ear so she looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> About 20 minutes later I guess I was again sitting here and I heard the tinkle of a tiny little music box. Now there's a lady sitting across from me. She's a skeptic. She says, I don't want to know. I don't think, but I don't want to know. She's sitting across me and when I heard the music box, I started to tell the lady next to me. Across me, the lady goes, I heard him. <laughs> so I said, okay, it wasn't just me. Are there music boxes in this house? I don't know. I thought what it was coming from somewhere. I think it would be coming from the kitchen. Yeah, was it was just okay. a tiny yeah. little faint tinkle, but because I have this access to the open space from that stairwell uh -huh. yeah. that the um the you know, the servants used to come down. Yeah. I, that's why it was amplified. That's where you were? Yeah, right here. Um I had taken a ghost walk group out through the city, which is something that we do from this house. As usual, I tell people the story about this house and tell them any paranormal stories. So after everyone had gone home, I was here by myself and I was just turning off the lights and all, and I had all sorts of things in my arms, <laughs> and went outside and I was just going to set the alarm and go on home, and the alarm wouldn't set. Okay, which means that it's been disturbed somehow. And sometimes people like to try old doorknobs. It disturbs the connection. So I came back in the dark house, which I'm not afraid of this house. There's nothing gonna hurt you in here. So I came in with all of this stuff and I started looking at the cameras and the, the connections. Everything seemed fine. Went back outside and it still wouldn't set three times. Well, the fourth time I came back in here, I was moving quickly. I walked fast anyway, but I was really going fast because I was tired. I wanted to go home. And I thought, it's got to be the gift shop motion detector. It, it does that sometimes. And I came walking in this house really fast. And I stepped through this doorway, going at top speed, mm -hmm. and I got right here. And all of a sudden, I knew I wasn't alone. And if you've ever had an experience like that, you know immediately what it is. The whole entire room felt like it was under pressure, and I stopped dead in my tracks. The whole room was kind of pressurized. You could, I could feel it on my ears and everything. And so I just stood still, and it wasn't something menacing or evil, it was just there. After I caught myself out loud, I started saying, whoever you are, you're welcome to stay in this house. If you love this house, just know that we love this house too. And we're trying to keep it nice. And if you want to stay here, you're welcome to stay in this house. I didn't know what else to say. 
And I just kept repeating things like that. And the feeling was still there. And all of a sudden, right in front of me, it was about this wide. It was, I can't really explain it, except that it felt like a, a shimmering force of some kind, like an energy. And it just kind of settled right in front of me. I've still got all this stuff in my hands. I wasn't sure what to do. I just kept repeating, stay here if you want to. We love this house too. That little shivering thing moved all the way around me very slowly and it stopped right in front of me again. And at that point I said, I'm done, that's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and I walked forward, went into this first parlor up here, which is our formal parlor. And I thought, well, maybe it has an area and it's gonna go away. And it didn't. So I came back around through the foyer into the dining room. It was still with me. I came back into this room and it was still here. But the moment I stepped back through this doorway, it was gone. Interesting. That was it. I stepped back into this room, kind of <laughs> testing it out, and uh, but it was all over. I came back the next day in the daylight, and I stood here with my hands on my hip, and I said, go ahead, do it again. Come <laughs> on, go ahead and do it again. But it's never done it oh I, after that. I never once felt threatened. It was just telling me that it was there. Interesting. Stairs. So, okay, wait. These are Dr. Lola's. So, okay, wait. These are Dr. Lola's. So, okay, These are, do are Dr. Lola's. Oh, it feels like a completely different house up here. It's way different up here. Yeah. Such a crazy little house. This was a guest room, like the hospital guest stayed in here. This was the girls room. So creepy. Right. Look at this freaking room. <laughs> this is like straight up horror mo horror movie stuff. Did you close the door behind you? Yeah. I. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I thought I heard a lock. That's the noise. Oh my gosh. gosh. Crib of dolls. I think a boo buddy would be perfect in here. Yeah. This was her room. Really? Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky Boos. Today, we are at a location that we have been trying to get into and dreamed. Did you hear that knock? Yeah, I did. And dreamed of getting into since, like, I was taking the train up here. Yeah. You know? Months we, ago. We passed by it all the time. And even from the street driving by this location, you can tell it's special. We are at Dr. Luella Howie Waffle House. 
And to give you a little backstory on who Dr. Willella was, she was actually the second lady doctor in all of Orange County, the first one in Santa Ana. The house is named after Dr. Willella and her two husbands. Her first marriage ended fairly shortly after her husband, Dr. Alvin Howie, was accused by the Orange County's grand jury for medical malpractice. The charges and publicity were too much for the marriage, so in 1879, the couple split. But not long after, she married the love of her life, Edson Waffle. Waffle was a prominent stable owner and rancher. Once married, he brought his three children to live with them. They all settled down in what is now known as the Dr. Willella Howie Waffle House. This dates all the way back to 1889. That is when this house was built. That's when Dr. Willella was practicing medicine. Dr. Willella first opened her practice in 1886. She went on to continue this practice for 38 years up until her very last day when she died alongside one of the beds of a patient she was helping. She passed away in 1924 at the age of 74 years old. But while she was practicing back then, they didn't let ladies work in hospitals. So Dr. Luella could not work alongside her husband in the local hospital. Instead, she had to practice out of her home. She did thousands and thousands of medical procedures in this home, delivered over a thousand babies. Dr. Luella had a super kind heart. Way back in that day, they were actually going through a pandemic as well as influenza. And so she went out of her way to set up medical tents in her courtyard right here and help children and really anyone who needed help. She also would take house calls at whatever time it was. If anyone came to her front door, there was a telephone out there that they'd yell into and actually their voice would come out right here into her room. So they'd wake her up in the night and she'd go down and help whoever needed it. She was wildly successful, not just because she was an amazing physician, but she was most known for her kindness. She housed patients in the room directly next to us right now. Ever since then, people have rumored this place to be haunted. Well, how can it not be? But they do say that it's not negative entities mm -hmm. here, that there's nothing malevolent. It's all super positive, welcoming energy, and like, how could it not be with yeah. the way they were treated here? When you look at the most haunted places, the Waffle House comes out is number one most haunted place in all of Orange County. And we have <sighs> the entire place ourselves. I think that we should get started. Obviously she wasn't here alone. She uh -huh. had a family in the kids room. And there's a couple paranormal hotspots in this house that we'll make sure to go to but the kids room is just one of the top. <laughs> All right, let's go. Check out this behind this curtain. <gasps> So it's this, the, the servant staircase. Back then they did have servants and they were kind of more to uh, be seen, not really noticed, you know? So they would have these back staircases that they could sneak through the house and still do their duties and not be in the way. So this is what that is. And that goes directly down into the kitchen. So right here we just have the bathroom. What? Yeah. Oh. What just dripped? We have to ask if the water's working. Oh, and this vent directly below us is a stove. So whenever they're baking anything, all the nice warm air comes straight up here. It's actually so smart. Yeah, this was built back when there was no running water. Yeah, there was, there was no, no water. Was there? Nope. Right next door, we have the kids' room. And this is literally a dollhouse. It's a dollhouse. Oh. This is so great. If any of these chairs start rocking, I'm gonna freak well, you out. you know that that's the story of in here. One of the volunteers here told me a story of an experience that I think it was her sister had in this room. They do haunted tours here because it's so well known for being haunted. And while she was up here, she said the rocking chair started moving back. Back and forth. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, what is this? What? Looks like there are locks of hair. Ew, really? Oh, <gasps> you they are! Yeah! And this is just one of the kids' rooms. There's another kids' room where her daughters would stay, and that's down the hall. This was also at one point Miss Julia's room, the housekeeper. Oh, you're right. So if you don't know what Boo Buddy is, he detects EMF, 
He detects temperature, movement, vibrations. He has a few phrases that he'll use. If certain things happen, if there's a temperature change, he'll say something like, it's burr, it's cold in here. Mm -hmm. If he gets touched, he'll say something like, ha ha ha, that tickles. Yeah, that tickles. <laughs> I think we should put him on the rocking chair. Really? Rock what do you think? <sighs> I think, yeah, that, oh, that scared me. Yeah, that's not terrifying. Oh my God, you scared me. <laughs> If there's anyone in here with us right now, any kids that reside in this in this room, in this house, or any spirits in general that reside here, and you want to open a line of communication, you can come and touch this little bear that we have set on your chair. Just touch his tummy or his hand. Count with me. One, two, three, four. You can grab the key too. I feel like we should put the music box pointed down the hall because she was saying they were hearing a music box coming from up here. Oh, that's right. That's a great idea. All right. Oh, it's so... Oh, I'm just start this. How's it feel out there, Mackie? Oh. That's creepy. Yeah? Yeah. No! <laughs> this doorway right here out of Dr. Wala's room, that's a hot spot apparently where a bunch of people have caught images of spirits walking out of that door. Crystal clear, actually looking like a real person. They said it's as clear as... They, they said you could, al you could almost make out exactly who it was. That's what it was, yes. So if anyone's coming... That has never happened that before. Was in the bathroom. Hello? Did someone just make a noise in here? I was gonna say, if any spirits are up here with. Tell me a secret. What was that in there? It sounded like a whisper, did it not? Yeah, it sounded like something. What the? Okay, it's gonna go off, but it's gonna be me. Yeah. and stuff happening and you just got <gasps> this is the patient's room. This is where she used to house patients, huh? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should move the music box down to closer to her room okay. so that it can catch up. <gasps> I feel like it only started messing with our bear once we left. I know. It's like something new is in there. It wants to check it out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like everything in here is antique and has been here for so mm -hmm. long. Are you checking out our bear in there? Where should we put this? On the rocking horse. <gasps> Can you make it stop? Well, it doesn't know how to make it stop. Can you step back over here by me and hold my hand? Can we get stop beeping? Maybe reset it? Yeah. 
and turn it the other way so the antenna is as far away from the main as you can get it, maybe. Do you know what time it is? Yeah. Okay. So, in case you couldn't tell, oh, oh. This is gonna sound so weird. I was kind of like feeling a Do little. Like I was kind of feeling a little odd in here, just like a little off from the minute we came in, and then the minute I sat down and like, like tried to like, like join to sit with me and like started addressing, I feel a lot more comfortable in here. Hold on. The fact that you reset it twice and it just kept. I going. know. I feel a lot more comfortable in here now that I've sat down. Like, and I don't know if that's because whatever is in here. Feeling more comfortable mm -hmm. now that I'm sitting down. So I'm kind of. This is crazy. I don't understand. Can you touch the bear's tummy? The green light on the bear's tummy? I don't even know what to think. Like it's not broken. No. Okay, I'm gonna move it off the rocking chair. Okay. Okay. Mm, I like cookies. <laughs> okay, now we'll see if it goes off. What the? I like music. What music do you like? Just like an ambulance. Like a doctor? Like yes. Like, yes. That was crazy. That has never happened. No. Before. The thing that I'm seeing the most in here is like little white orbs. Interesting. And now I'm going to take a picture and see. I didn't turn this light off so you don't. Know. Oh, <gasps> it's a temperature change. Yeah, it was. Do you like it better with the light off? I mean, to... or what? It just looked like the rocking chair was moving, or the rocking horse, but maybe not. Oh, what was that? What's your favorite toy in here? Did you hear that out there? I heard the first one. Yeah, it's okay. like footsteps. Can you show us your favorite toy in here? Or make a sound over by it? I wonder if it wants us to get this. That's like right where it's. Can you tell me what two plus two is? Shut the f what? What was that? Did you not hear that? Oh, no, I heard it. What oh. What is making noise in our back? I don't know. I'm scared of it though. Can you make a knock for us? What is that? I don't know. It sounds like carousel. Like a music box. 
I know. It does. Can you make a noise for me? I don't hear it anymore. I don't even, did you hear it? Yeah, I did. I felt it. Like a circus or yeah. Animal. Yeah. Like... Can you touch my tummy? <gasps> if anyone's in here with us right now, can you... I'm gonna grab Boo Buddy. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Did you hear that? Hey, what's that door behind the corner? I don't know. That's what I was just looking at. No. Can you do that again? Can you touch that red light one more time on your rocking chair? Maybe we should try, try turning the light off. Okay. Can you go near our red light right here again like you just did? All right, well, I think we're going to head out to a different room. If you want us to stay in here, can you give us a sign? And then if you give us a sign, we can stay in here with you and hang out more. If you want us to leave your room, you can give us a sign and we'll leave right now. Was that not you? Do you want to hold my hand? Oh my god. Something wants us to leave. Oh! Is that swinging? That's swinging. Oh my god. Look at the shadow. It was. It's like something was on the roof. It sounded like the someone. Attic. The attic! Do you want to play a game? And look right there, those two things are probably oh. the attic. That's oh. why you can hear it so well in this room. They were saying that the attic is one of the most haunted spots in this entire house, right? Yes! <laughs> okay. Also, I just want to say, look how close that room falls down the stairs. Oh my god, could you imagine? Oh, you almost did. I almost just fell down the stairs on the stairs. Bro, that would have been such a steep fall. That would have yeah. fucked me up. Yeah. Oh. Look how close the room bot is to the stairs, and it's not going off. Like, you gotta get close. Oh, that's crazy. Sorry. If there's anyone here with us right now, in this attic or in this staircase, in this hallway or in this house. It's Calvary. Oh. Mm. Can you make yourself known by 
either walking in front of our music box or coming near this red light on the staircase. Is there anyone up in the attic right now? Did you hear it that? like someone was up there talking. It sounded like went, me. <gasps> that was loud. What is happening in here? I don't know. I feel like we should investigate in there. <laughs> Okay, did someone just whisper up there? Something just touched its tummy. Did we hear you walking around above us? I'm now walking around about us. It sounds like someone's like literally just pacing up. I here. know. What? Did you say something? Can you please say it again? I just picked up an EVP. If you want to talk to us, can you make a noise in whatever room that you're in right now? Something came from down the hall, didn't it? It did. <laughs> Can you make another noise for us in whatever room you're in? If someone just walked in between us, can you give us a sign or a knock? The bottom of the staircase is a hot spot, uh -huh. they say. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like someone was right behind me. Do you know what time it is? Did someone just walk right behind me? If we heard you walking around in there, this is your last chance to give us a sign. Where did that come from? I don't even know. Let's try turning all the lights off one more time. All right, we're gonna pick up our device right here, unless. We're gonna move in to Dr. Willella's room and the patient room. Should we leave the rum pod there? We can. I think we should. Okay, all right. The bathroom's freaking me out. It reminds me so much of Winchester. Yeah, that's I, exactly what I was it say. really does. What was that? Was someone down there? Was someone just walking up the stairs? Okay. So this is where she housed all the patients whenever any of them would stay here. They stayed in this room. There's some stories about this closet right here. I'm shutting this door a little bit. Leave it like that. Multiple people have reported seeing a little boy in this closet, like poking out. Oh. Hey there, little boy. How do you feel in this room? I feel like I should take a picture of this mirror. Hmm. What was that? Sorry, it sounded like a sneeze or a cough. Oh, right behind you, didn't it? I heard something in the hallway, but also a tap right here. Oh, oh, oh my god, 
You didn't touch it? No. I'm just gonna start walking out and I looked up and it was awesome. What? Like my hands are literally full. Like I took this picture of you leaving the door. Yeah. This same minute. Started, looked at it, thought, hmm, is that something? Oh. Started to follow you out and the door was shutting. If something just pushed this door, can you push it some more in either direction? Either close the door or open it? Do you not want this door open? Did you see how I was about yes. to be proud of myself? Yes. Like, mm, debunked. The heck? Wait. Is that you? Bro, I'm standing on one foot right now so that I didn't like make a noise okay. and step down. That was so loud and that clear. That was two taps. Do do. I heard it. I. <gasps> I'm so good about staying quiet after yeah. I literally didn't even see it down. I know. I was expecting to turn around and see you cracking your knuckles, but you were holding the dowsing rods in one hand and... No. <sighs> so this is a room that people see a spirit lady walking out of. Bruh. What? What did I catch in this? So... <gasps> That only matters because let me scroll back a few more, two more. I caught something similar here, like where it's just that little yeah. shed of light. And was like, that's odd. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I thought that's super odd. And then. Let me see the other one again. <gasps> what is that? And then what is that? Where was that? <gasps> that was facing down. I stood right here and took this picture. Oh my gosh. What? It's just right in front of the dress. Does that kind of look like the face of a little girl? Like the yes, face, the yes, chin, the chin. Yes, so. that completely does. Take another picture of the dress, see if it looks the same. Is it in there now? Not at all. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna ask a crazy question. If there's absolutely anyone up here with us right now, can you make this rocking chair move? Just give it a tiny little push. What is that? You know, I hear that. Like yeah. The two? I don't know. What do you think? Should we try the staircase? I think, yeah, the staircase. All right. No. All right, we're gonna give you 10 more seconds to set off our device with the red light. <sighs> oh. Starting now. Is that a whisper? We're gonna head downstairs. Unless you give us a sign that you want us to stay. The only known death in this house was in the attic of this carriage barn. Multiple people reported feeling weird things coming from the upstairs only. Is it true that you are a negative spirit? What? Did you not hear that? No. 
For five seconds. Make it stop for five. Five. <gasps> Does a little boy want to play hide and seek with us? Yes. yes. Check the attic. Stairs. Yes, please. Is someone up there? Let's play a game called hide and clap. You can make a knock on the wall wherever you're hiding and we'll come and try and find you. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Ready or not, here we come.